Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I realized in my previous channel that I lost that barn finds took off. So that's what we're doing today. So, you know, I just got off the toilet, washed my hands, don't want to get coronavirus, you know. Okay. Now we're going to hop in here. So we're running a tight operation. All the vehicles we find, we get to keep. So I'm hoping there's something good in that barn. Because this forge is going to go out pretty soon. So, now I've just got to open that door. Fire up the good old Ford. Let me make sure I got my jumper cables in the toolbox. Yep, yep, looks like they're in there. Now we can roll out. So we've got my rusty car trailer in back. It's going to be a bit weird hauling with this thing. I'm hoping to get a big gooseneck trailer. I'm planning on selling one of the... Th There's two items in the barn. I don't know what they are. I'm going to sell one of them. And then I'm going to buy a big trailer. So, first things first. I've got to hop on my phone. Better pull over. Don't text and drive or use your phone and drive. Got my route set. We can hit the road. So now, I'm just trying to get this channel up and going. I've been researching like crazy where I can, how I can get a successful channel going on this game. And I've based myself off of my last channel. And I'm saying that barn finds are what's going to take me off. And then I can start moving on. But my first series is going to be a barn find series just to get the channel rolling like last time. So, because last time I was amazed. I got five subscribers in one week, which was amazing. So now, we've just got to roll down here. Ooh, I really should have brought a spare gas tank. This thing eats faster than my mom at Thanksgiving. Sheesh. Oh, um, actually, I think I have a gas tank in the toolbox, maybe. Yeah, we've we're at we've got three quarters of a tank left. We'll be perfectly fine. Cause we'll probably be at like close to half a tank when we get up there. And if we run out of gas before we get home, I'll just park the truck there. Hopefully there's a truck up there that I'm gonna be picking up. Go get some gas. But yeah, we should be perfectly fine. Now we just gotta roll up here. I do really want to edit this part out, but I'm still learning, so I'm not gonna be able to edit this out. Please stand with me. <laughs> I'll try getting it down. My next series I'll be able to edit, so you don't have to watch me drive and do all the work. Because I kinda want to do a farming simu series, because you know, this is Farming Simulator 19. So barn finds are not too common. Okay, so yes, you did just see me go like 30 miles like an hour over that bridge. And you did see me get my trailer stuck. Oh, and almost my truck. Oh my. Oh my. Okay, guys, this is extremely sketchy. I really need to pay more attention. Oh my. I could easily lose my my only truck and only trailer. Now if I keep over here, yes. Okay, so that didn't take too long, but okay. Come on, F-250. So I've, you know, got the 1980. This thing's old. My da grandpa bought it new gave it to me when I started this business. So obviously, yes, it is 40 years old. Maybe someday I'll, you know, find that like a 2011 Ford F-350 in a barn. That would be real nice. Even like a 2000 or something. Or maybe we could just start selling stuff and have enough money to afford a new vehicle. Which might happen. So, I 
this road on the left looks like it's the one that'll lead us there. I don't know where the other one goes. Oh. Take this path. Oh, they go to the same place. Oh, I should have taken this one. Now I get to climb. Good thing I got that lift kit. Pull off here. Oh, take the jump. Now I'll unfold the trailer. Probably should shut off the truck. Okay, yeah, we're reaching on half a tank. Don't want to leave that running. Looks like there's no doors around back. So, just have to kick this open. Oh, kicked it so hard it opened the other way. Yeesh. Looks like a pretty modern shed. No way. No way. A purple C3 Corvette. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's the other one, but let's just focus on this Corvette. Oh yeah. Okay, this thing just started. This thing actually started. Okay, this thing is actually working. I'm just gonna turn it off for a minute. Well, actually, no, I wanna leave that engine running. There we go. Now, dun 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 dun. Whoa. An F 150? Like a 1976. Oh yeah, now you know what's going on. Okay. Okay, so it's not starting. So that means you pull the Chevy around there. I don't know why I keep turning that off. And I bring this over. I've got the jumper cables in the back toolbox like I told you at the beginning. Now we've just got to pull up to the... Actually, is that a Ranger? Yeah, that's a Ranger. I hooked up. This thing's running. Let's back up my Ford. Well, my other Ford, they're both mine. Ha ha ha. So, now let's park it here. Hop out. And first off, I think we're just going to load up the Corvette. We'll leave the Ford here for now. In this video, I'm just going to haul back the Corvette because I don't really want to waste too much time trying to figure out how to edit out because you guys don't want to see me drive back here again and haul the ranger you know what Corvette's just gonna get parked here for now and I will take the ranger back because I can't even get that Corvette over the hill okay so this will be interesting. Looks like got a full tank of gas on this thing even. Well, almost full. Can't let the dually hit the wheel. Well, okay. Hold her up. Back her out. And hit the road. More like hit the trail. I don't really care about leaving that door open because the Corvette's outside anyways. So, I'm just going to leave it. So, we'll work our way down this mountain. Hopefully having enough gas to make it. I don't really know. Oh, we do have some... What's going on? Oh, no. 
Oh, this thing isn't starting. Darn it. Great. Installed. Oh, and installed. I'm not even going to mess around at this point. I'm just going to get that truck out of here, get someone to tow it out, and I've saved up enough money that I... But I'll just use this Ford for now, actually. Heck, I don't even need a new truck. I can just use this Ranger. has more power than that thing, even. So, make our way down the mountain. Go a bit crazy. The thing has great suspension. Little play in the steering. The brakes are a bit off, so I'll have to take it into a shop. Great. So you guys know that this is Farming Simulator, obviously. So then you should also know that you can reset stuff. So pretend like you didn't just see that and I actually drove it all the way home. Okay, so after that long drive home, I'm going to fuel up. Yeah, this thing takes gas. Plug her in. Put it in. Okay. That's full. Start her up. Honestly, this is a really nice truck for its age. Ooh, that's a nice dozer, too. Wonder whose that is. So, now I guess we can just back the Ranger. Ooh, I should have brought my trailer back. Uh, but I guess I can just back the Ranger into this stall. Come on. And I'll give you my garage tour, I guess. I was going to put in my workshop. I'll show you my workshop. My workshop's just down over there. Except for the roads off of the real road. But, okay, garage tour time. So, got the Massey 47.7. Got the John Deere 332 j little garden tractor. And I've got my Kawasaki Ninja. Nice ride, if you ask me. And, of course, my 1976 F-150 Ranger XLT. So, I'm going to head upstairs, maybe play some, I don't know, play, maybe watch some YouTube on my computer. Where are you? Okay. You know, got my squad PC, squad plus, because, okay, I'm a huge squad fan. He didn't actually tell me to say that. I don't, he doesn't even know who I am. So, okay, I will see you guys next time. Hope you enjoy this type of thing. I'm going to keep doing it if you guys do like it. So please hit the like button. And if you like this sort of thing, hit the subscribe button and I'll know that you want to see some more of this content. Thank you and I will see you guys later.